Hi, Caleb here, the older father blogger. So I grew up in Southern Maine, all around lobster people. I had chartered a lobster boat recently, and I couldn't believe it because I was never a tourist. But there I was in Portland, Maine, chartering a lobster boat. Got my mom and dad together, my wife, the two kids, all of us on a boat to go lobster fishing. And I was thinking, the kids, you know, it's gonna be great for the kids, but I know everything about lobstering. But our lobster person was a high school teacher in the off season and gave us a, an educational lobster experience. So the music that you're gonna hear uh, during this video was actually written by my father, Zandy Clark. And it's a song he wrote 40 something years ago called Athabasca. So I thought it would fit with this video. I used to be a fisherman up in Alaska. Best fishing I ever had was out in Athabasca. There was salmon so thick you could have walked ashore. We did and fished them, they just jumped aboard. We loaded up till the decks were washed. Started out for Dillon Ham, we thought we might be lost when a great north wind met us coming out to bay. We began to throw some of those fish away. And every time we threw some fish, the wind would go slap. Every time we started out, that north wind came back. We played that game all the way to Dillon Ham. Didn't have one fish left when we got back to land. Of course, we never told no one, but if they should ask us, we'd say there's good fish and way out in Athabasca. They wouldn't have believed us, they laughed us out of town. But throwing back a greedy catch to calm the north wind down. They say each man learns that lesson from the seas. Don't take as many fish as you may please. You be throwing fish back to calm the stormy waves. Your life will be a farce until you change your ways. traps I keep here just for the times where we can't get out the traps down there. So we don't get at these as much, so I don't know what to look for, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to haul it. That's for you to go down and look. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so my buoys are right here, the red, white, and red. I'll tell you when we're coming up all along. Oh, I see the red and white. Red and white. All right, see that one dead ahead? Yeah. That's what we're gonna try to grab first. I used to be a fisherman up in Alaska. Best fishing I ever saw was out in Athabasca. There was salmon so thick you could have walked ashore. You go out there today, you won't see them no more. You go out there today, you won't see them no more. <clears throat> well, that one was written a long time ago. Maybe 40 years ago. Is it an old wooden trap or the no, plastic these, one? these are metal. You don't see the oh, wooden metal. ones anymore. You don't see them? It's 40. Here it comes. Oh, I see it, I think. Can you see it? I don't. Now I, yeah, I think I can. Hopefully, we don't have them loaded with crabs. Sometimes down this end, we get a lot of crabs in the trap. Here we go. I want to see a crab. Oh, yep, I see it. Go. Oh, there's one. We got a lobster in there. And 
some yeah, crabs. <laughs> pretty some seaweed. They pretty much eaten all the bait. Left some of the fish heads behind. Little crab. These are, <laughs> these are the native rock crabs. Which I, is that lobster big enough to keep? No, no. I'll go over there. I'm going to clean okay. the crabs out here Ooh. first. Oh, Notice that the claws are different. One of these yeah, is a crusher think... claw and one is a pincher. Can you tell me which one you think is a crusher it's claw? Crusher. crusher, you got it. That's and that's pincher. what it does it crushes. I learned it in wild crab. Cracks. You learned it where? The I TV show? Wild nice. Cracks. Awesome. This one's gotta be close to legal. So a lobsterman going through these quick would probably take the time on this because it looks like it's 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 worth Almost. measuring. Yeah. Alright. But before we get to measuring. I flip it over and I have to check to see if it's a male or female, a boy or a girl. So this is a female, soft, feathery. Females are also a little wider on the tail when they have eggs. This is where the eggs will start forming. And so I go, female, no eggs. Right. And I still can't go measuring her yet because I got to look at this flipper right here. Not that, not that, this one. Oh, to, see if, one. to see if there's a, a notch cut in it, a oh. V notch. Because if a lobsterman, a lobster woman catches this girl and has, and she has eggs, and there'll be thousands of eggs down through here, by law, we have to put a V notch cut in here. And what I have is a notcher, it's like a hole punch, that cuts a V shaped punch in there. If she's caught with eggs, that notch keeps her free, basically. Wow. She's a producer. Right. So I'm going to measure with the gauge. I put one end in the eye socket, but they'll move its eye, so I'm not hurting her. And the other, oh, this is close. The other end, the body, <laughs> the body has to be at least that. Oh, not quite, oh, not quite. I go to the other side, though. I, can <laughs> I literally can do it both sides. Oh, and that gosh. side is a speck. This is, that's like half of a millimeter. All right, let's see, she is, She's a hard shell still. She's got to come in, so deep, they're out in the winter, they go to deep water, a few hundred feet deep, and they're pretty dormant. When the water's warm, they all migrate in. That's why you don't see traps until you get, usually to about the 4th of July. Bye! 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 Have a good there night. goes supper. This is the mackerel that we catch. So, they don't, we don't, you know, just throw it away or anything. It becomes lobster bait. Well, they are. And, and generally snakes. speaking, when you're in the crabs, you usually don't do so well in the lobsters. Yeah. So the crabs come in and eat all the bait. So you try to find spots you're not in the crabs. And it will vary with the season. Alright, watch out. I'm going to throw this one in and then we'll go check that one out. There you go. That is a beautiful, legal, big male. male. No nuts. I am surprised this guy's still around and hasn't been taken by someone. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Lucky. Now, how old is this? Oh, <gasps> this guy Look probably is a good seven claws. years old. How Maybe can you more. Tell? Seven Look at those. Old. Is that just, just okay? Crusher pincher. Crusher pincher. From experience, you know that's how big kind of and, and like research. This is this is definitely. This Look is definitely a pound and a half plus, I would say. Oh, this guy. That's a good lobster. Now, we are going, I'm going to save this. We are going to band it after we get things settled down. Oh. We'll come back and put bands on it. You guys can help me do that. This is the bander. And I open it like scissors. This is, let's pretend this is a claw. I put it on like that. And then when I release, I twist at the same time, pull it off. Mm, okay. All right. Now. I gotta do okay. you help me squeeze, the pincher yeah. claw. Okay. All right, open big. All right, let's push it off, put it over here. Uh, now release and twist in one action. And pull it right off. Nice! Yeah. See if you can open that really big. 
It's hard. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more than that. Uh, now turn it sideways, slide it on. All right, and then twist, twist and release. And release and it down. Release. There we oh, go. Okay. We go. All right. Why do we do that? Why do we do that? Why do you think, now, why do you think you do it? Why do we think, you think we put the bands on? Pull it out of a storage trap. It don't, it doesn't bite me. This would, jeez. I don't even want to think of how much that would hurt. And it also helps keep them from biting at each other, which they will do. They'll still eat each other with their mouths. What? Day, about a day and a half. Really? What's that now? Every time we threw some fish, the wind would go slap. Every time we started out, that north wind came back. We played that game all the way to Dillingham. Didn't have one fish left when we got back to land. 